What is going on ladies and gentlemen monkey flop here and today we're going to be going over the PlayStation 3 deals and discounts but before we do that I just wanted to remind you guys really quickly I'm starting to upload on a regular consistent basis on my second channel gameplay videos let's plays and different things like that so be on the lookout for that I should have at least three uploads per week if not more um once I get back into the swing of things and I have enough content for you guys, I should have almost a video every day of the week on my second channel as well. Um, I did that before and it was pretty awesome. And it was pretty awesome to see the response. Now that I actually have a little bit more time to be able to do these things, I want to get back into it. So if you have a chance, go check out my second channel. The link will be in the description. Let's get into the deals of the week. So starting off, we got Ubisoft Publisher Sales Save Up to 67% off. The offer actually ends November 9th, which is not too far away. We got Monopoly Plus, Trivia Plus, Live, um, Risk, Child of Light, Child of Light for the Vita. We got Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon, um, Far Cry Classic. The Smurfs 2, South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now, this was on sale a little while ago, and uh, <laughs> some of you guys lucked out and got it for a dollar. Um, the PlayStation glitched out, and that was pretty awesome. Um, but now it's only $10, so hey, that's pretty good as well. I know a lot of people have been wanting to pick up South Park, but not willing to pay full retail price or even $19.99, maybe this will get you to go and purchase it. Um, I still haven't purchased it. I actually missed out on the, the sale as well. Valiant Hearts, The Great War, it was available for free on the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection. Right now it's for 95 I didn't play all the way through it, so I definitely recommend watching some gameplay of it before you go and purchase this and this is one of the free games that's available this month it's actually a playstation through through playstation 2 remake and it's coming for free now let's go ahead and check out the rest of the deals of the week we got the goosebumps game it just got released not too long ago if you have playstation plus you get to save um, a little bit of change there. It's going to be thirteen forty nine if you do. Uh, we'll be going over the rest of the deals, and if we've already covered some of them, we'll just pass them up. Um, this game right here, seven dollars and fifty cents. I haven't seen too many uh, gameplays or anything like that. Rock of Ages. This was part of the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection. I found it kind of interesting. I actually played a couple of hours worth of um, of this game. It's really interesting. Um, and if you don't have anything else, then maybe you want to pick that up. I don't know. Uh, Space Hunk is $35.99. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen anything about this game either. Let's see when the release date was because I'm really curious. Okay, it was actually released September 1st. Very interesting. Okay, um, moving on. We got the Smurfs. Usually... When it's a movie and then it comes to video games, it's not that good. But then again, they've been doing a lot better with kids games. So this possibly could be a fun game. I'm not sure. If anybody's ever tried it, let me know in the, the, uh, the comment section below. I'm stuttering over my words. Amnesia memories is for the PlayStation Vita. It is $17.99. Save 40% off of that. Curse in Chaos is $7.49. We got Rollers of the Realm PlayStation Vita again. This is also available on the PlayStation 4. It's five dollars here, which is pretty good. A uh, pretty good deal here. Class of Heroes for the PSP and PS Vita. We got this game right here, also seven dollars and fifty cents. Seven dollars and fifty cents. That is fantastic. We got the Legend of Heroes: Trails in the Sky SC. It's a bundle. You can get it for the PlayStation Vita and or the PSP. If you buy one, you get them both. And then you get this game right here 
for $19.99. We got Metro Last Light, the complete edition. It's unavailable. Why is it unavailable, PlayStation? Um, I hate when you do that. I hate when you absolutely hate it. Um, I usually don't use the word hate, but I hate, 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 hate when Sony puts up a game like this in the deals of the week and it's unavailable. That is so frustrating. So, as many of you guys know, WWE 2K16 has just been released. And we got the Digital Deluxe Edition right here for $79.99. My voice is going out. What the heck's happening? Stone Cold Steve Austin's on the cover. I picked up a physical copy of this game. I'm... I'm still a big fan of physical copies. If you're still a big fan, let me know in the comment section below. We got Back to Bed. Um, this game's been on the deals of the week forever. We're not going to cover that one. Lego Jurassic World is $39.99. Um, that's not a bad price for a Lego game that's fairly new. Good Times Rock and Roll. This is a music track for Rock Band for $1.99. Pretty good deal right there. Saints Row Get Out of Hell is $14.99. If you want to get Jurassic World for the PlayStation Vita, that'll cost you $19.99 for the digital version. Alien Isolation. Wow, what a big surprise. It's back on the deals of the week for $29.99. We got the crew extend expendable bonus content. It's actually just going to be a level that you can purchase for $3.99. Another level or bonus content, I should say, for $3.99. If you wanted to get the season pass, it's going to cost you $29.99. We got Battlefield Hardline, the Ultimate Edition, for $89.99. Now, I'm not completely sure this is worth it, so don't go and blow $90 on this without doing your research first, because honestly, I don't believe that uh, this this is worth the price that they, they're charging. Um, I'll tell you guys straight up right now, I don't think so. Um, you know, you can you can go pick up a physical copy, and if you wanted to get all the extra uh, downloadable content, you could, and I'm sure it'll cost you a lot less than this. $90 is kind of a lot for a game that's been... Let's check the release date, shall we? Okay, so it got released in March of this year. It's already... Uh, it's it's already half we're already halfway through the year and there's no way this game should be this much that's just my opinion let me know in the comment section below let's stand up for our rights no i'm just kidding but seriously dark souls 2 29.99 we got digimon all stars rumble for the playstation 3 19.99 dragon age inquisition yet again on the playstation deals of the week $19.99 for that and then you get the deluxe edition for four dollars more ladies and gentlemen we get the dragon ball z uh, full game for $39.99 and then you get the season pass and the game for $69 $64.99 excuse me on that one um this this is actually a decent deal right here. Um, I still prefer getting a physical copy of this game because this game is awesome um, as opposed to just a digital copy. Um, but if you're going to be going with the seats and pass, this might be a viable option for you. Um, but I definitely recommend not paying $90 for Battlefield Hardline. Uh, I just can't wrap my head around the that price for a game that's been out. Um, for about six months over six months so anyways that's actually going to do it for the deals of the week on the playstation 3 playstation vita and even the psp because they're still bringing out psp um, games there must be somebody out there with the psp that's still buying digital content <laughs> which which is weird because um i don't purchase anything for my PSP anymore but if I did I would probably just go and buy some used games <laughs> um, as opposed to digital content because the memory cards were not that big I think I have an 8 gigabyte um, memory card on my PSP which is not that much probably holds one or two games um, but yeah 
Anyways, that's actually going to do it for the deals of the week. Enough of me rambling on. If you guys haven't subscribed, that would be awesome. If you would leave a like on this video, go check out my second channel. Go check out some of the Let's Plays and different things that get going on over there. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome, as always.